Okay, good morning, everybody. First assembly of the year. Positive behaviour culture. Clearly, really, really important, given what we're going to be doing this month. Hopefully, fingers crossed, no more than a month. But it is going to look very different to what we are normally used to. And we're going to focus on the positive behaviour culture because we absolutely believe at Conyers this is the way forward to promote the kind of students that we need to go and have a big impact in that world out there. A couple of things I want you to remind you about. You set the expectations of how you behave. You have the power to escalate or de-escalate a situation. You determine what we focus on. And ultimately, you decide how you respond. So we're only going to manage the behaviour that you provide us with. We expect the bar to be set high. We've always expected that, but it's obviously much more important now in that first month. There's anxiety levels, there's a pandemic, we're trying to get through that and we're trying to establish the new norm and give you an education. But you have the power to do these things. Your response will see how a situation develops. How you respond to that will determine what happens next. But clearly the behaviour policy and some of those low level sanctions are going to look very different this year. Three basic expectations, they've not changed. It's ready, respectful, safe, behaviour. Your teacher will, will use phrases which you should click into and realise, I'm not quite doing what I need to be doing. This is my chance to change, this is my chance to reflect on what I'm doing and do it differently. I have noticed. I need you to be. Triggers which should allow you to change what you are doing. That's our full behaviour policy. The vast majority of that is positive. It means we can be consistent. It means you can be consistent in your behaviours. Staff will meet and greet you. That's more important than ever before to make sure we've got a safe environment into the classroom. That positive behaviour and modelling of behaviour, social distancing, respecting each other's personal spaces as we're walking around the highway, really, really important. And clearly, we are hoping to be able to focus on really good behaviour and get those rewards going. Gold slips, postcards home, class recognition boards, and hot chocolate Friday. What hot chocolate Friday will look like, who knows in the new normal of social distancing. But we still want to do these things with you. Recognising the above and beyond. The over and above. There's children who just do what we need them to do all of the time. Every week your teachers should be awarding you a praise card to someone in the class. Who deserves it? Positive names on boards. Striving to be on there for the right reasons. We're asking staff to have a positive communication home once a week. Saying how wonderful somebody has done. I'm hoping it will be more than that. Particularly in that first month of September. When we've all realised this is really important that we get it right. For everybody's safety. Staff and students alike. Consistent sanctions. We have reflections at Conyers. They're going to look slightly different. We're not going to run in that first month a whole school reflection room. But that doesn't mean to say that we won't sanction poor behaviour. There will be an after-school year group detention. A reflection after school in order for us to still maintain high expectations of behaviour. The pastoral managers will contact parents and negotiate with parents the fact that you need to stay for an after-school reflection because the whole school reflection room can't run. We can't make that safe in the new world that we're having to operate in. There is going to be no break time. So those break time reflections with individual teaching staff, they're going to look very different. Lunch is going to be very different. So we really need you to focus on the positives and work with us. Things like removing you from class for a couple of minutes, that's going to be okay. But removing you to a different classroom in the departmental reflection buddy system, internal isolation systems, that's going to be really difficult because we can't mix year groups. And we need you to understand that because if you can't be safe and we're having to put these things in place and we can't, it might be a case of that we have to remove you from school site and we put you back into the virtual school. Now, we firmly believe that being in school with your teachers giving you direct input is better than the virtual school. The virtual school was brilliant and it served us well. 
in difficult times. But we want you all here, but we've got to be able to do that by demonstrating. Be ready, be respectful, respectful be safe. The sanctions will look different, but they are still going to exist. Scripted conversations. Your teachers will still use these with you. These are the triggers, the points where you know whether I escalate or de-escalate. How I respond to some of these choices is going to decide what happens next. We don't want students having to be sent home to work in the virtual school. But we know we might have to do that. And we're prepared to do that working with parents. Restorative conversation. Really, really important. Some students are going to be stressed. They're going to be anxious. So are some staff. And sometimes we might get it wrong. What we've got to realise is that we're all in this together. We're all trying to get it right. We're all trying to do the right thing. And ultimately, I might say the wrong thing. I might take the wrong course of action. But what I've got to do is reflect on that. Go back and have a conversation with that member of staff. That member of staff will come back to you and have a conversation with you. And we put things right. We draw a line under it. We move forward to the next lesson. And we don't carry that on for the rest of the academic year. There's more important things for us to think about than that little fallout or that little blip. But we've got to get those blips right. And we've got to move on from them all together. So the basics. What's it going to look like moving forward as we go through the first month? Hopefully no longer. It's going to look slightly different. But we need you to be on time for first lesson. That's a life skill. It's about being on time, in the right place, for your future employers. But it's also now massively about safety. That stagger into school, that little flow, so that we make ensure that not everybody is arriving at the same time. And you go straight to first lesson. Tutorial in the morning is gone. That first morning registration for five minutes is gone. You make your way straight into school. You join the highway. You get to period one on time. Use the one-way system properly. It's there to keep us all safe. It's not there to make life more difficult. It's there to keep us all safe. It's really, really important we understand that. We use it properly. We get it right. And we show respect to each other. We keep our distance. We walk around there appropriately. Clearly, there's going to be some highway supervision. But you know, we want you to behave in a positive way. We want you to behave in a respectful way, a safe way, where you can self-regulate and understand these are the reasons we're doing it. It's about keeping everyone safe. Use the litter bins. We don't want litter dropped all over the floor. We don't want staff having to pick up extra bits of litter. There's loads of bins around the school site. Please use them. No spitting. Something I'm really pleased that I can say. No spitting because it's going to help keep us all safe. There is no student who should be wandering around school spitting. The catch it, kill it, bin it, coughing, sneezing, all that stuff still massively exists. If we're not able to do that through the tissue, there's obviously been some government guidelines about sneezing and coughing into your elbow joint, things of that nature. Make sure we're doing it. Make sure we're covering our mouths when we're coughing. This is about safety. This isn't about trying to cough on someone as a laugh and a joke, because it's not. It's not safe, it's not respectful, and it's not going to help any of us moving forward. Wear your lanyard. Make sure it's clear, make sure it is visible. Don't worry about your photograph on it. No one, hopefully, is going to get close enough to see your school picture. But we need you to wear those so we know where everybody is, we know there's not as much year group crossover as there might be, because we can quickly identify if someone's in the wrong place. It needs to be worn, it needs to be visible. It becomes part of your basic equipment at Connors. Your pens, your pencils, your iPads, your lanyard, your face covering. Really, really important. Act sensibly when lining up for lunch. Clearly, lunch is going to look really, really different. It's staggered. There's going to be some year groups on lunch, there's going to be some year groups in lessons. You're going to have a zone. You're going to have one area of the school where you are allowed to be. Indoor space, wet weather space, and a set of toilets. That supervision team will get you to the canteens for lunch using that one-way system, but it's about respect. It's about following instructions, lining up safely, going at the right time, keeping our distance, maintaining safety at all times. Stay in the correct zone at lunchtime. We absolutely understand that we're not going to be able to stop 
that crossover of people walking past one another as they move into lessons up and down stairs. But at lunchtime, we are going to try and keep year groups in bubbles and keep them separate as much as possible because that prolonged period of time might mean there's a greater risk of the infection moving across to other people. That brief passing in the corridor or as someone comes out of the block and you go in, less likely. Not impossible, but less likely. And lastly, wear the four Conyers uniform. If that's the day when you've got PE, make sure it's your PE kit. Well, that's about ready, that's about safety, so we know who's on site, we know that everyone's dressed the same, and we know what we're looking out for. Reminder of the three expectations. Be ready, be respectful, be safe. We are a community, and we've got to create that culture. Every single person in this organisation plays a part in doing that. We build the culture. We want it to be positive. We want it to be really, really safe. And everything that we're putting in place is to ensure, as much as possible, people feel safe. People are reassured that whilst they're getting their education, we are taking the appropriate course of action to reduce any risk. Not get rid of it, but reduce it. We have to work together. We have to work together on being positive. Teaching staff, your peer group, don't want to deal with negativity all of the time. It's not what we're here for. We want to be able to praise and give people lots of positive encouragement, positive strokes, phone calls home to say, do you know what, that's brilliant. Thank you so much for just following the one-way system, for making sure that other people in your year group were safe, for letting that teacher teach. Because it's condensed into 45 minutes. We've got that reset time. We create the culture. That's all of us. A handful of people can spoil that culture. We all create the culture. And engage in positive conversations. Engage in positive behaviours. That will help build positive relationships right across the whole school. We've got to do this together. So an overview, a reminder, the new normal. There is a one-way system. It will be about safety first. And that might mean eventually some people are asked not to attend Conyers School, but asked to attend Conyers Virtual School. Make sure you have your own personal equipment, iPad, fully charged, pens, pencils, rulers. You know what you need. We are not wanting you to lend equipment off each other. We're not going to allow that. It's not safe. Lanyards. We're wearing them for a reason, and it's to promote safety, and it's to allow staff quickly to identify who's in the right place, who's not in the right place. Respect. Respect your lunch zones. Respect what needs to happen at social times. Respect one another and the, and the rules at movement periods. It's a 15-minute reset. We're doing that so that everything is safe, it's clean, and it's ready for the next group of learners. Student support will be closed. Access to learning support, the library, and key workers, they'll be closed. You need to email those members of staff and arrange an appointment. Those appointments will take place during tutorial periods towards the end of the school day. Your pastoral manager, your key worker, they will come to you. They will have the interaction with you in the appropriate space. There is going to be no one at student support, stood waiting, ringing the bell, congregating in groups. It's just not safe. With that in mind, if you are late or you need to leave early to go for an appointment, you need to report to main school reception, having followed the one-way highway system. It's no longer sign in and sign out at student support. It's going to look different. And as I said, those key areas of school, pastorally, will be closed. Staff are still available, but they will be closed. The last thing I want to say to you is we are doing what we can to make everyone feel safe, to ensure that people feel that they've got the respect, they've got rid of their anxiety, they can come back to Conyers and learn in an environment which is positive and allows us all to do what we need to do. Teachers to teach, students to learn. Thank you very much. I hope you have a really, really good first day back. I hope you have a safe day back. And I hope you really understand and buy into what we're trying to do in order to keep everyone in school, to keep everyone safe.